Weak storage is very, very important because it plays a contributory factor on how long lasting your weeks will be. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the different types of method that you can store your weeks and also ways and the, uh, how you can store them, the types, their advantages and disadvantages as well. So if you're interested in knowing what I want to talk about in today's video, keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Benita. So let's get right into the video. So the first type of weak storage we have is the standing anger. Yes, I posted this on my community tab and I was shocked that a lot of people really liked this uh, type of uh, weak stand or weak storage. And it also comes in different types. You can get it in plastic, you can also get it in wooden. But if you are in Nigeria especially, the wooden one is more popular. So this uh, wig stand is also one of the first advantages of this wig stand is that it you can store as many wigs as possible. At least you can even tell from the picture, you can store any type and any size of wig. It contains a lot of wig. So, you know, if you have, if you are somebody that has many type of wig, this is the best wig storage stand for you because it, it you know, has different uh, different branches <laughs> that you can use to store your wigs and another advantage of this uh, particular type of wig is that this stand is that it's you can store any size of wig big long short medium any type of wig you can store uh, it with and one thing i also love again about this particular wig uh, storage stand is that it makes it very easy for you to you know take any wig that you like like you know you don't have to start losing in bag or searching for wigs you know you just go there over there and choose and choose any wig of your choice so you don't need to start searching for that particular wig you want to wear so you just go over and take any one that you want but one of the uh, advantages disadvantages sorry of this particular wig stand is that it should i say it takes space yes so if you are somebody that you don't have a big space in your room or in your house this wig might this a uh, wig stand might not be suitable for you because it will take space for you to be able to you know have this kind of a uh, wig stand then also i feel that it also can uh, expose your wigs to dust as well but well that is not really a disadvantage uh, because there's a solution to it you can just easily use a uh, nylon or something to cover each of your wigs then another thing again i feel that is also a disadvantage of this type of wig stand is that if you have a child at home like me that you still have little children you have toddlers you have babies <laughs> this is not the best wig stand for you because after hanging them your kids can just or your kids can just go there and start dragging it so it's not suitable for mothers that are still you know having younger children but the i think the advantage the advantages supersede the disadvantages and obviously it might be expensive but the wooden one is not that expensive so you can afford if you can afford it and you you are somebody that have a very you have plenty wigs collection you have plenty wigs this particular wig stand is a must have and another advantage is that it makes you style your wigs less because you know like like those straight uh, after doing uh, or straightening or styling them you will just hang it or after wearing them you just comb and keep in one place so you don't have to fold them because sometimes folding of wigs makes it very easy for you to style them uh, often but this particular type of stand make you style your wig uh, less so that's also an advantage as well so another type of wig storage uh, is uh, this rubber plastic wig storage uh, stand this is very very popular and easy to find in the market and also really really cheap and it's around 1005 or 1000 naira and it's also very easy to get and why one of the advantage of this in uh, this particular wig stand is that i mostly love it on bobs like for short um for short wigs yes wigs that are not really long is short and another thing again i also love about this particular wig stand is that it's a uh, travel friendly like it's something that you can easily carry anywhere you go because it's lightweight it's small and it's something that you can just easily fold and put in your bag when you are traveling so you can carry it anywhere it's handy you can carry it anywhere you want to uh, go with it then it's also suitable like i said in the beginning that it's also suitable for bob wigs 
and also for um, bob fringe as well so one disadvantage of this particular uh, wig stand is that this wig storage is that it's like it's not uh, that uh, it, it doesn't really uh, it's not that balanced if that makes sense like it's not something that you can use you can put a a a, a weight a wig that's a wig that has weight it cannot stand it so you you just mind the type of uh, wig that you use it for on that's why i specifically said it's really good for bobs especially and there may be bob fringe so it's not any wig if it, uh, that you can use for something long or something heavy or something that has weight like all those kind 300 gram kind of a uh, wig i don't think i will advise you because it is it, it, very light and you know it's plastic so it cannot really stand a wig that has a weight so that's the disadvantage of this uh, uh, wig stand but and there's you cannot you know contain different type of wig you know you just store a particular one one at a time it's not like the first one that you can you know store multiple or different type of wig so you can imagine you just having that kind of uh, different different type of uh, you can just buy maybe you have like five wigs you now start buying five of it to you know to place your wigs it doesn't really make sense when you are not selling so it's not one wig that i will it's not one wig stand that i really uh, recommend it's just i i feel it's just more of like for a temporary wig storage like for example after styling your bob wig you know you just put it for there before you wear it so it's not something that you you need or you use for a very long time so that's it for that so the next on the list is this portable wig standing uh, older hats yes this also is another uh, one tool that you can use to store your wigs and one of the things i like about this particular uh, wig stand is that it's uh, thicker and uh, more quality or you know balanced than the other previous one i just uh, mentioned and one thing i also love about this particular wig stand is that it's too suitable for a uh, fringe yes especially if you have long fringe and you have a um, short fringe as well this is the best type of a uh, wig stand for you to use to you know to store your wigs or for you to keep your uh, wigs to store your wigs yes compared to the other one this one is more balanced more relaxed and it's even longer although it comes in sizes as well so you have uh, you have um, alternative to choose from so I kind of I like it more it's suitable more for fringe and the uh, bobs as well but for straight hairs and uh, maybe coily and other maybe closure of frontal wigs I don't think this uh, particular wig stand is uh, suitable for for them so it's more it works more for bob so it's kind of limited yes that's a disadvantage so if you if you don't have a bob fringe or you don't even have a bob i don't think you need this type of a uh, particular wig stand and one thing is that it also uh, you know it also uh, you cannot store more than one wigs on it as well so that's a disadvantage as well and you you you, you have to buy like different types for you to store any type of wig that you have so but it's very good and suitable for those that have a bob a fringe or bob a s time the next on my list is this uh wooden wall wooden uh, wig anger as well so this also is another type of a uh, wig uh, storage method and one thing i love about this uh, wig uh, stand is that this wig storage uh, method is that it's very easy to find you can get it very easily in the market and the first uh, advantage i love about this particular wig uh, storage is that it's it you know it helps you to manage space yes so if you are somebody that maybe you don't have a big room or like a student or you are just trying to manage your space in your house and you need to hang your wigs this is a very good one for you because you just place it on the wall just check a particular uh, wall space in your room or whatever place you want to hang it and uh, hang it and another advantage of this particular wig is that this wig uh, storage uh, stand or method is that it's uh you, it, you can store as many wigs as possible at the same time yes it is not a uh, limited like you know others that i just uh, previously talked about so if you have more than five wigs it just depends on the type because it comes in sizes so it just depends on the size you want to buy 
and you can hang as many wigs as possible and another advantage of this uh, particular one is that it's um it's also good for mothers to like because you can you can you can hang it you can hit you can place it on a higher uh, uh height if that makes sense like if you understand what i'm trying to say so if you have two kids little children it, is, it will be very difficult for them to have uh, access to this so i'm talking in uh, uh, for those that are mothers that will watch this like me so it's a good uh, method as well of storing your wish because it will you know to not give them that easy access to you know go and drag it so it's also a it's also an advantage as well then one disadvantage i feel about this particular one is that if you are not careful it might not be balanced like the hook that they put on it you know so if you don't um if you don't place your wig very well they might fall off that is the only advantage i feel them it also exposes it to dust as, as as well especially maybe so maybe the only thing you will do is that you will try as much as possible not to put it very close to your window so that you do not you know have uh, access or when you open your windows it will not make your wigs uh, dusty because you have to expose those wigs except maybe you, you try as much as possible to use something to cover them and another advantage is again that i just remembered is that it helps you to easily you know get your wigs like you know if you have a particular wig in mind you want to wear you don't have to start looking for it it will just be easy for you to just take any one you want as well then another disadvantage as i feel too is that it's not really suitable for short wigs yes it will not really balance well for short wigs it will you know it will easily fall off so it works uh, best or works better for long length uh, wigs so the next on my list is uh, wig uh, hangers or wig bags yes this is one of my favorite as well this one comes in uh, different sizes you can get it in long extremely long and you can also get it in short medium as well so although before it used to have only one particular size but thank god now they have longer uh, size of feet so it depends on how long your wigs uh, you want to use in storing uh, uh, it depends on how long the wig that you want to use them to store so then first of all it's also very affordable as well and very easy to find easy to get in the market this particular uh, wig stand ranges from 2000 naira to 2500 naira just or 3000 naira but although mind you the longer one is is um the longer one is more expensive the longer one we are talking about three five to four thousand naira then one advantage of this particular wig uh, uh, bag is that i love this particular wig storage one advantage of it is that i love the fact that it's travel friendly yes like if you are traveling this is the best type of wig storage bag that you need because it's travel friend friendly you can just easily put it into, into your bag you can fold it you can also just leave it straight in your box or in your bag and it's also very handy lightweight for you to carry so you can take it anywhere it's, compared to others that you just have to keep them in one a particular place then also i love the fact that uh, this uh, particular wig um a bag or wig and guys that you can store different type of wigs on it as well yes you don't have to store only one particular wig or need i also have a video on that i will leave a the link in the description box that's the different ways that you can store your wigs on this particular wig bag like more than one type of wig as well then i also love another advantage of it is that it makes your wig stay in place yes so for example if you are traveling and you've already straightened your sally for your straight hair even for your coily hair you have already styled it you just put it inside the bag and it's it will remain like that especially when you you know you package it well inside your bag or box so when you get to your destination you don't need to stress yourself of uh, styling this uh, styling this uh, uh, styling your wigs anymore so that's a very very good uh, advantage another advantage is that you can easily hang it yes anywhere like as you can see from the picture there anywhere you go anywhere you get to you can just easily because of the anger it has you can just easily just hang it anywhere you go to so that's also a good uh, advantage as well so for disadvantage uh, do i really have any you know and another advantage again is that it's you know it prevents your your wigs from dust 
Yes. You know, because after putting it inside the bag, you will just zip it so it you know it prevents it from you know exposing your wings to dust. So for disadvantage, I don't really have any disadvantage of uh, you know this particular wig uh, bag or wig storage method. I don't have like this is one of my favorite uh, wig uh, storage bag or wig storage or wig uh, storage uh, method. <laughs> so the last but not the least is uh, this uh, wig bag. This is also one of the oldest and the you know very common popular wig bag like most companies do use this in you know sending wigs to their customers this also is a good uh, wig storage method as well that you can easily put your wigs and you can also put more than and it comes in sizes as well you can put more than one uh, wigs inside it and you know it's also very spacious and cool and travel friendly as well so you can you know easily take them anywhere you want to go to and it also prevents your wigs from dust as well but one disadvantage of this uh, particular uh, wig storage method or type of wig storage is that it um it's you know it makes your wigs it has a tendency of making your wigs tall uh, rough because this type of method you have to fold your wigs and in the process of folding you know it makes your wigs scatter so by the time maybe you get to where you want to take them to or anytime you decide to wear the part those and uh, that, that particular wig you have to style you have to brush and comb so that's a disadvantage as um that's a disadvantage of this type of a uh, wig uh, storage or method so it's not really it's, it's not really suitable like that especially for lazy people that find it difficult to style their wigs so these are the wigs uh storage method i know and you know there are advantages and disadvantages as well then also if you have anyone too that i did not talk about feel free to tell us in the comment uh, section so which one are you using or are, are you still are you still tying your wig inside nylon bag <laughs> let me know in the comment section which is your favorite or which one have you used before thank you for watching bye for now